Hello everyone, Lucas here. In today's video, me and my friend Kenneth are going to be fishing for redfin pickerel in a little tannic creek. We're just going to be skipping mosquito fishing with some thickets and we're going to catch a bunch. Hope you enjoy. All right, I'm going to show you guys what kind of gear I was using today and then we'll get back to the fishing. So the thing you're going to see me mainly use throughout the video is a size 18 fly hook. That's what I'm putting the mosquito fish on. And honestly, that's the only size hook that you'll catch these fish efficiently with. Other than that, you're only gonna just hook them and have them fall off. Like, most people think you gotta use like size 10 eagle claw panfish hooks, and that's actually doing it all wrong for these fish. You have to use something microscopic, just a little bit bigger than a 10 ago. These are like size 18. And then the second thing I was using to catch the red fins a couple days before was this finifish merch. Um, I'll leave a link in the bio for that because these things slay. You can just pair them up with a Euro Tackle Y Fry or Bobby Garland. And I was just throwing both of those on the um, Berry Pro 6 foot ultralight with a Daiwa Laguna 1000 paired with it. I'm going to show you guys a really quick clip of me releasing a pretty big redfin that I caught on the Finifish merch, and then we're going to get back to fishing the main creek. There's bait schooling up in there. It's only a matter of time. Oh, 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 I got one, I got one, I got one. Go. No. Oh my god, I got that on video. I got the eat on video. Oh. We got one, bro. All right, I'm gonna go get the measuring tape and the net, and we're gonna measure this guy. Sick. All right, so real quick, we're gonna measure this guy. He's on zero. He is five and a quarter inches. Awesome. Such a pretty fish. All right, here he goes. You're gonna get one there. Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh, is that a red fin? No, I can't be, it's a bass, it's a bass, dude. I didn't know there were bass in here. Look, it looks like a swanee. I know. Guys, we just got this swanee bass. Dang. You got one? Yeah. Oh, you got one, dude. Oh my God, Sick, dude. You gotta get a thumbnail photo where it's both of them. Nice largemouth though. It's like one of the prettiest bass I've seen in Florida. All right, that is a eight inch, seven and a half inch bass there. Looks just like a swanee bass, beautiful coloration. There he goes. All right, now here we got Kenneth Slifer. The fishing year is crazy right now. Beautiful Tannic Creek. All right, Kenneth's redfin measures just under six inches. Beautiful fish. Pressure's off now. Now we can just catch them. It. All right, for a short time, I'm gonna try and punch this patch of sticks here. And um, me and my friend Zane, we usually punch this with jungle jigs with a little miniature tungsten that's also sold by Finifish merch. And that actually seems to work better there for some reason. Now, I normally don't like to use weight for these fish, but for some reason it works really well here. They always come up and strike it. But today I was stupid and just here. used mosquito fish and I missed a couple and got snagged. But later on in the video, I do catch fish here, and you'll see that later. Bro, 
right in here there's usually a bunch. We're also going to try and get them on Finnafish merch later. super weird today. They're like eating on top and they're just going down when the wind comes. It's a tough bite. Just twitching the minnow seems to get their attention. Where was that? That blow up? They're blowing up deep in the sticks. I'm gonna try to punch way back. It's so there should be one in this little corner here. Live mosquito fish skipped in there. One of us will get a lucky drift and get one. Have they still been blowing up in there? I don't know. I haven't heard anything after I caught mine. You got one, I think. I think so. Oh, that was a micro. Oh, look, he chased it. He chased it. He's so small, dude. He's like a two incher. Oh, yeah. Nope. Oh, he missed it. Oh, that's a big one, right? He's like right there. Yeah. Oh, that was a good one too. Dude, there's so many. This is insane. There's like two more still in there. Pitch right, pitch right here, pitch right here. And then once you get to the end, redo the trip. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. There's a red fin there. Don't pitch at him, though. I want to get that one on video. He's blown up there twice. Oh, I got one. Got nope. Oh, we use a micro. Oh, did he come off? Yeah. He didn't get hooked though, he'll probably eat it again. Nope! Yeah, I don't know. That was a little one, that was like a... He, oh, he just, he just spooked him, he was right there. Alright, some context to what Kenneth's talking about right now, you can barely hear it. There's this redfin that's been blowing up next to him for like the past 20 minutes. I'm gonna catch that same fish in like a couple minutes. There's got to be more still in here. I don't know, I don't think there's one there. All right, in the next clip, I'm going to go walk in the water to punch this little pocket, and I'm going to pull a fish out, like, immediately. Oh, 
Oh, I got one. Yeah. Oh, 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 there he goes. Three incher. All right, I just missed a pretty good one. Blew up on top water a couple minutes ago before I had a little bit of a camera incident. Oh. I got a good one. No, that was a good one, dude. Hopefully that was a war mouth, but I don't think it was. Good freaking redfin. Oh, look at that. Oh. That was another micro. Mm. Yeah, mm. Oh, got one. There we go. Redfin number five. Nice little dark colored one. There's a redfin just cruising right here. Such a sick fish. How you catch these things is you just cast mosquito fish into the grass and twitch them like a little jerk bait. And usually they come out and hit it. Alright, so this next clip is where I catch that big red fin that Kenneth's been seeing this whole time. Because there were a few here earlier. Oh, 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 yep, got him. <laughs> got him. Beautiful red fin. <laughs> really pretty fish. All right, this one's pushing six and a half. Very nice fish. All right, here's the part of the video where I start fishing the really deep stick piles. And this is where Finna Fish merch would definitely outfish live bait because I get snagged a lot. There's so many sticks. Oh, there we go. Has to be another one in there. There's a fish there. There was one. Oh, he spooked. That was a good one. Really shallow shit. I think there's a fish in there. Has to be one in here. Oh, oh, I got one. He's in the tree. Got him. I got him. Number nine. Holy crap. That's the ninth combined red fin from today. This is insane. All right, this red fin is five and a quarter inches. All right, I'm gonna try and release this guy kind of close to the sticks he came from. There he goes. So after getting stuck by about 500 blackberry thorns, I'm right on top of the fish, and now I'm just gonna jig right over the leaves until I get a bite. All right, I'm back in the furthest reaches of this place. I've lost two here already. They school up back here, but they're all really small. It's, this is an inch of water right now. And there's pike in here. All right, I'm 
to go shower. Oh, there's one right here. Oh, oh, he missed it. Oh, got one. That's number 10. That's the 10th the red fin. The footage is probably terrible, but I got a 10th one. This is insane. All right, this is the last red fin from here. There he goes. Such a cool fish. And in the middle of the jungle.